it's it's, it's like bad you can buy for people. the people. Yeah, yeah I think it's what bad I, to tell people that. But why are so many candidates get, billionaires? Well, I think well right, because they're the only ones who seem to be able to. That we've made it that Barack way to Obama be able wasn't. to run. And here's the yeah. thing: is that. <laughs> it, if you, if the amount of money that you have can force the DNC to change their rules, but yes. the DNC would not change their rules for Cory Booker, Julian Castro, mm -hmm. Kamala Harris, mm -hmm. that is a that is an actualization of power. And we all know how I feel about billionaires. I don't think that in a place where 60 percent of Americans can't even, you know, make more than forty thousand dollars a year, that a, the presence of a billionaire who largely makes their money off of businesses underpaying their workers, like Walmart, like Amazon, like so on, should exist. But I too agree with you that I think he's trying to buy this. I mean, it's one thing we agree on. You have promised that you're going to vote. Blue, 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 no matter who, I think is what you said. Um, I just can't see you campaigning with the like human embodiment of Scrooge McDuck. He's a former Republican, art capitalist, billionaire. If he's the nominee, you're going to go out and stump with him. And again, we're talking about how he's buying this election. And it's not fair, the kind of power he has. Do you think it will look strange if you and Bernie Sanders then support him as the nominee for president? Well, you know, first of all, we're not going to get to that point because Senator Sanders is going to be the Democrat. <laughs>